the Institute for Frontier Materials focuses on material science and engineering problems. Our charter is to make sure that we have a transformational benefit to society. So we develop new alloys, new materials of all sorts. The IFM is very proud of its research culture. We've actually spent a lot of effort in setting up the structure of the Institute so that it really stimulates and facilitates collaboration. We're also particularly proud of the way that we work across the size scales. So we've got problems that we deal with at the atom scale with our atom probes, and we work on production scale materials processing facilities as well. So I'm involved in the uh, corrosion and energy research in IFM. Uh, both areas of research um, are underpinned by electrochemistry, electrochemical sciences, and that's the area of research that we, my group works in. So one of our societal challenges at the moment is, is clean energy. Um, we are looking at using renewable energy more and more, looking at going to electric vehicles uh, rather than using fossil fuels. That requires energy storage. And so our group here at IFM works towards beyond lithium ion storage technologies, looking at how we can enable renewable energy to be implemented and how we maybe can move towards a, an electrification of our transportation system. The work that we're doing here has a real world impact in a number of different areas. I'll give you an example. Um, more and more we're going to see the use of drones and unmanned vehicles being used around the world for things like emergency services. So you want to send a drone into a, a dangerous situation like say a fire in a house or fire in a building. So we're looking at making batteries that are able to withstand high temperatures, which is safe, and which can, can go for longer. And that's going to be more and more important as we move forwards in artificial intelligence and robotics, future jobs, that's going to need future energy storage technologies. Alloys research in IFM, we've got two main streams of, of focus. Uh, the first is developing new alloys more quickly. Uh, and for this, we're looking at harnessing additive manufacturing for rapid alloy production Combining that with ICME, Integrated Computational Materials Engineering, and the very latest in Bayesian optimization. But we're trying to do this scientifically, and so we're coupling it with uh, also new developments of in situ characterization. So the strength of our alloys development team is that we work across the size scales. Uh, the team is very active with atom probe microscopy to try and understand the strengthening mechanisms across a range of alloys. But we've also got one of the largest flexible forming facilities in the world where we can make real prototype automotive components, okay. pushing the limits of in situ testing. We've got a facility in the laboratory built around Lowy X-ray diffraction, which is ideal for measuring stresses and strains and phase transformations in situ. I'm part of the team here at IFM and we work with Ear Science Institute Australia to, to develop a membrane to repair a perforated human ear. So we start with uh, cocoons from the silkworm and we convert this uh, silkworm cocoons into, into a membrane, a transparent membrane, and shape that membrane into a conical uh, drum which we can put it over a perforated eardrum to repair a perforated ear. Okay. So the worldwide about 330 million people suffer from uh, the hearing loss and a large portion of that comes from the middle ear disease and the hearing drum perforation is a, is a, is a serious problem uh, particularly affecting children for, for, the, for their development because of the hearing loss and this uh, device we hope will uh, will go a long way in solving the problem. So the Institute for Frontier Materials conducts a lot of innovative and exciting research across the fibre space. We work particularly on the sustainability of processing and adding functionality to fibrous materials. The Institute for Frontier Materials, we have the ARC funded research hub for future fibres. As part of the Australian Research Council, we've received funding to establish this centre. We work closely with five industry partners across three research programs. For example, we work with HiQ in developing their short fibre technology for textile applications. We also work in the carbon fibre space with Carbon Revolution, who make one-piece carbon fibre wheels and quick-step technologies. We're always looking for further opportunities to expand our research and make more connections with industry and other academic institutions so that we can help develop fibre technologies to produce advanced manufacturing in Australia. Carbon Nexus is a carbon fibre research centre, fully part of the world leading Institute for Frontier Materials at Deakin University. We've recently commissioned a, a wit spinning line, which means we can now go from the polymer all the way through to the carbon fibre, which makes it a really globally unique facility. And when you combine that with our organic chemistry, our polymer chemistry, and our advanced manufacturing, 
facilities, a powerful um, facility that's able to really answer and tackle research challenges across the entire carbon fibre value chain. So our vision, more than anything, is to be a centre of excellence and to really lead the charge in developing a, a carbon fibre industry for Australia. We're also going forward looking at increasing the degree to which our PhD students are internationalised. At the moment, 80% of our cohort are already international, but we would like for each of our students to be core to a partnership with other universities.